Hey folks, it's Lee Plankett here, uh, doing my first real tabletop review on YouTube. So today what I wanted to talk to you about was a small pistol flashlight, a compact pistol flashlight that I picked up at a really reasonable price and wanted to let you know all about this. So uh, what we're looking at here is an AIM Sports. Uh, this is a 150 lumen flashlight. And it is um, really designed for compact pistols, but it does work on a large frame pistol as well. Uh, I bought this specifically to start out for my M&P9C, which is my uh, everyday carry gun. And we'll slip it right on the rail here. Clicks right into the first notch on my rail. And as you can see, there's no uh, problem hitting the finger guard here. Uh, the trigger guard on the pistol so it fits really really well on there uh, if you happen to have a larger frame pistol no worries it clips on just nicely there as well slide that back in this case it goes into the second detent on my rail and uh, fits just as well there too the uh, flashlight here operates on a single CR123 battery which is included and before I close this back up, you'll see that there's a little O-ring right here, a little rubber O-ring right on the threads. And that allows it to be essentially waterproof. Uh, I don't know about completely waterproof. I uh, haven't really believed ever anyone who says that before. So I guess uh, I may find out uh, someday if I'm not careful. So we'll put that back together. This is actually a nice quality made flashlight. It's uh, aluminum. It's all aluminum construction. Uh, down here on the bottom, there's kind of a, a bit of a knurled texture to the push button here. And uh, what I like about that button when it's on the pistol is it's right in a perfect spot for me to pick up with my left hand. I'm using my normal grip. See if I can get that there. That's where my finger lands when I'm holding the pistol. And you can see it lands right on the button there. And so it's really easy to activate, turn it on and off while I'm uh, uh, using the light. As far as the light itself, you can see what you get is a really bright dot right in the middle, uh, surrounded by a nice uh, kind of a corona around the outside of the light. And what I'll do is I'll switch video here and try and show you in a darker room what this looks like. But What's nice about this is my point of aim lands right about the top of the hot spot here. So all I have to do is take a look through my sights and wherever the top of this circle is, is where I'm going to be uh, hitting my target. Now I haven't yet had an opportunity to try this actually at the range where maybe it's a little darker and I can try it out. I'd like to try that for certain, make sure that uh, my guess on that point of aim is correct, but based on my sight picture and where that uh, particular hot spot lands, it seems to work well. Uh, this comes with a couple of little accessories, including a replacement O-ring, and also in here, I'll let you see the package real quick. AIM Sports LED Quick Release Flashlight, 150 lumen. Um, there are a few replacement lenses that come with it. If you look, there is a clear lens on the front of this. And this little cap actually comes off, and you can actually replace that clear plastic lens there with one of the colored lenses. Now, I don't know why you'd want to do that on a pistol light, but uh, I know that, you know, you've got a red, a yellow, and a blue lens here. Uh, the red lens would really be something you might want to use at night. To help with losing your night vision but I don't think I would do that. I have clipped this into the light and it wasn't a true red, it was kind of an off red. So I think I'm just going to stick with the pure white clear lens here. Anyway, it's a great flashlight. It works very well. I haven't had a chance to test the full uh, battery life on this yet through pure use. So I guess that remains to be seen, but for a single cell CR123 powered light, very, very pleased. Uh, in my home, I've used it down the longest possible shot path I could have, and you're talking maybe 40 feet maximum uh, for any particular shot length, and in total darkness, completely lights up the room. I mean, it really does a nice job. Uh, the specs for you to take a look at here, there is the flashlight. I believe our model number is right here. You can see the specs 
on the card and if you're interested in knowing more about them there's their website aimsportsinc.com I actually bought mine off of uh, Amazon in this case got a really decent price I paid uh, just over thirty dollars for this light and I gotta tell you I think that was quite a deal because when you look at some other lights like the TLR ones something like that you're gonna spend at least twice as much as I paid for this so that's it. Uh, I'm going to switch over uh, real quick here and show you a view in part of my house in darkness so you can see what that looks like and then we'll come back to wrap up the video. Okay, so let's take a look at how this light looks in reality. I've got it mounted on my SD40VE. You'll see it's kind of dark. I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn it on here. Take a look at the bookcase in the background. We'll try and get a sight picture on here through the actual sights on the pistol. And uh, as you can see, where I aim through these three dot sights I'm landing right near the top of the hot spot of that pistol and uh, the room you're looking at right now is pitch black and I'm covering a distance of about oh, 15 to 18 feet from where I am to that bookcase so you can get kind of an idea of exactly how bright this thing is you know you've got that nice hot spot out in front of you but there is plenty of light broadcast a good uh, oh, I'd say 30 degrees to either side of the edge of that that really kind of lights up the entire room you can see that yourself and so it's a it's a great light uh, definitely worth the uh, investment in my opinion so there you have it folks uh, you have a chance to take a look at that in the darkness this is the uh, aim sports uh, 150 lumen uh, one watt flashlight uh, really a nice addition for a home defense light if you need to add something to the rail of your home defense pistol I would highly recommend this. It gets five stars in my book. So uh, I hope that review has been helpful to you. Uh, thank you for stopping by today. My name is Lee Plinkett. Have a great day. Hey folks, there's one more thing I need to add on here that I realize I didn't cover. You know, some uh, weapons type flashlights allow you to access different functions when you're when you're pressing the button here, press 1 for high beam, press 1 for uh, against for a medium beam, press again for low. Uh, might have a strobe or an SOS, and I've got some flashlights that do that, but this one is just strictly a straight on, straight off. It's press it once for 150 lumens, press it again, and it turns off again. Press it a third time, it goes right back to 150 lumens. So just wanted you to be aware of that. No special functions or features. This is just a simple, bright, uh, reliable flashlight. That's all I've got. Thanks a lot, and we'll talk to you next time.